good evening students today we are going to study a separation technique a separation technique to separate the mixture of amino acids into its components for this we'll be needing couple of things first the plate on which the separation will take place second the sample the mixture of amino acids which will be separated into its components third a mobile face which will carry the samples over the plate and fourth nin hydrogen solution that will react with amino acids to produce color the basic principle is that the mobile face has affinity for the constituents of the sample and it will carry the sample as it rises above the plate but there is a fine difference not all the components have equal affinity for the mobile face so some of the samples will be carried further sorry some of the constituents will be carried further and some will be carried only to a short distance so once we spray this separated spots with nin hydrogen there will be formation of color and from the color we will be know knowing the location of the amino acids let's move to the experiment you can see two plates lying side by side and sar is doing something actually he is going to spot the plate that is put the samples on the plate is using a capillary capillary is used to keep the measure of the sample same once you put the capillary into the sample which is kept into the beaker sample will enter into the capillary and he has to do nothing else but simply put it on the line okay can you see it clearly there is a straight line drawn over the plate it's important that samples are spotted on the same line in most of the cases for the sake of identification what we do we put the sample which is a mixture at the center and the pure components are also spotted so by measuring the height of travel we can identify the samples in this experiment we are not doing so again he is putting that line you can see and once the samples are deposited on the plate there will be some residual solvent that has to be removed can you see that uh, chamber the glass chamber the mobile phase is kept in that once the plates are dried it has to be dipped into that chamber which contains mobile phase now he is trying to adjust the level while placing the plates into the mobile phase you have to be very careful the mobile phase will be placed below the line of spotting if the mobile face and the line of spotting becomes same the entire amount of the sample will be dissolved because by definition we use mobile face which is which can carry the sample which can dissolve the sample so we can't allow it to flow in bulk over the spots so here you can see mobile the level of the mobile face is below the sample okay it's rising sir has covered the chamber with a glass plate now we have to wait the mobile face is slowly rising if you observe carefully you will see 
that there is a distinct mark. Something like weightness is visible. It takes time for the mobile face to rise, but we have to allow it that time. Once the flow has stopped, that is, there is no change in the level of the mobile face, One, we start. have to take it out. Sir has taken it out. And now, after drying, he is spraying it with ninhydrin solution. The solvent is evaporated and now the plate is being dried with a dryer. But you see, there is distinct colored spots coming on it. What was initially one sample, now we are seeing distinct marks, distinct color spots at different heights. Each one of these heights, sorry, each one of these spots represent one amino acid.